e victims wote ambao ile kesi yao inaendelea A co-founder of the Good News International Church in Malindi now wants stern action taken against Paul McKenzie. Ruth Kahindi, who started the church with McKenzie back in 2003, says she fell out with him over differences in doctrine. Helen Aura with that story. Ruth Kahindi recalls her early years in ministry, which she says were filled with great doings of the Lord as she was leading a great ministry known as House of the Lord in 2003. This was in partnership with Paul McKenzie, who she so dearly remembered him as a young, disciplined man who was zealous for the things of God. <laughs> Mashetani, ilikuwa. The two had met at Malindi Baptist Church when Ruth switched churches from Pefa upon her husband's request. While she got involved in ministry at Malindi Baptist, she also became well acquainted with Mackenzie and his gifting. Siku nyingine akapewa kipindi cha ibada ya katikati ya wiki. Ndiyo alihubiri kitabu cha uzia. Kwa mba uzia, Wakati huo ulikuwa ni afe ndiyo kazi ya mungu ya ndele. Watoto wake wa yule mzee morisi wanje wako hapo. Hasa wakachukua yale mahubiri ni kama ambaye anambiwa babake. Kwamba wakati ya kifa basi labda huyu makenzi ndiyo atachukua ye kanisa na ataendelea. Lipofika jumapili. Makenzi akaambiwa hakuna hakuna tena kwa budu hapa manake mahubiri yako sio sawa and that was when Kahindi took Mackenzie and they started their own church known as House of the Lord in 2003 it was all rosy up until Mackenzie saw how the church was on the rise he is said to have tried to kick Kahindi to the curb little by little changing the doctrines of what the church stood for mudam chache akaanza hii story ya kuwa watu wasi kule madawa akaanza kuhubiri hivyo alipomaliza siku nyingine nika, nikaenda nikamketisha mahali nikamwambia mchungaji mbona unaanza kuongea namna hii wa watoto kutolewa shuleni wasisome tena elimu ni dhambi serikali inafanya vibaya aliyesoma akiwa na makaratasi yake na kazi ya kiserikali na aache and that is how kahindi lost grip of her church and family as her children soon became mackenzie's aides up until the recent headlines that unearthed the exhumation of more than 100 bodies linked to paul mackenzie's church kahindi says she is not sure whether her daughter is still alive but her son-in-law is currently in police custody she wants authorities to take stern action against mackenzie for misleading many kenyans helen aura ntv